Good morning. Hope you are having a good day. I hope you slept well last, last night, Virgo. Come in, have a seat. I'm going to see what your reading is about today, okay? Get your coffee, get your tea, whatever it is you drink when you first wake up in the morning. Someone in the comments wanted to know how was I doing on my intermittent fasting and water drinking. I'm doing pretty good. Um, had an emotional um, day yesterday, you know, so I didn't really cheat. You know, I stayed within my hours. I, I don't eat until 12, um, 1230. Uh, and I stopped eating at eight, but I was, you know, going through some stuff last night. So I think I ate around 10 something last night, but it was a few pieces of ham. So it's not too bad. They're really, you know, low fat ham. But uh, but that was it. You know, um, I had a few fig newtons after eight, but, you know, roughly, you know, that was that was it. But to me, that's a lot because I've been doing so good over the last couple of weeks. But sometimes, you know, shit happens. We have emo I'm an emotional eater, you know, and that's something I'm really learning uh, with the emotional, with I'm sorry, with intermittent fasting. So that's a good thing, you all. So I'm doing okay. And I've been keeping up with my water. You know, I was a I fell short a little bit yesterday because I started drinking water late. You know, like same thing Friday. I went to to that funeral and I didn't want. Gosh, I had to use the bathroom so bad at that funeral, y'all. <laughs> so I know when I know after I, I have to go somewhere, I can't drink my water. Uh, I can, but just not a lot. I'm, I'm still on track. If you fall off, get right back up. You know, don't don't have any regrets or whatever. Just keep on moving forward. Okay. Okay, Earthlies, what's your message for today? If you're new to to the channel, to the family, thank you very much. It may not be a lot of us around, but we, you know, we we chill out. Okay, and we support each other, and I appreciate that. You know, I normally I normally uh, comment on everyone who who posts, I, I leave a comment or something. I know I'm behind on that. So I, I will go back today and um, and make some comments once I go through those. Um, I'll do that today because I, I appreciate you all for commenting. It's not that I'm ignoring you. You know, I just got some things going on on my end, but I will look at that today. Okay. All right, Virgos, what are your messages for today? Six of Cups. It's always something. Hmm. The Wheel of Fortune. The Eight of Cups. You're walking away from this past, and that's possibly a good thing. This Six of Cups energy is around you. Maybe they haven't made it to you yet, but you're finally moving away from it. So it's like you don't even need this person back from the past because you, you've you superseded your own expectations in getting over this person. Okay. So move on, moving forward, Virgo, moving forward. It's like you are in a rebirth period. Things in your life are starting to pick up, okay? Six of Swords. Mm, I'm hearing um, Jewel's name for some reason. I don't know why I'm hearing your name, Jewel. Five of Cups. Okay, what other messages do we have for the Virgos here? The justice card. So a decision is is I think that you need to fix some you need to work on some things. I think right now you've already done the work. Right now you're gonna everything is gonna be fine because you're choosing to take that leap of faith and say, I'm leaving the past in the past. Okay. We got you with the six of swords. You're probably relocating, but we got the five of cups and you're you're still battled, battled and bruised a little bit. And may have some regrets from the shoulda, coulda, wouldas of this past relationship. Well, if he shoulda did this or she woulda did this, maybe we, we woulda, woulda, I coulda still been together or whatever. But your spirit is saying, well, it's time for you to work on you balancing your life out by leaving this person's energy or the physical person behind because you no longer need it. And you, you have wanted this person to come back, but you're over this person. OK, are you you're saying, well, I know I, I can't go back to the past. I'm going to move forward no matter how much pain and heartache I'm in. I need to let it go. OK, and we got that justice card here for you. And we're saying, wow, let's go, because this person was probably not good for you. OK, they were probably not the best person for you. Uh, and we got the five of swords. They probably left you in the cold. I'm hearing some of y'all. This person left you in the gutter. And I'm not saying that in a bad way, but that's that's. A, a hard truth that you need to learn. This person probably treated you like trash. 
let that car pass by. Sorry about that, y'all. So you this person probably treated you like trash. You know, probably just has some, some so much toxic energy that it's a good thing that they are no longer in your life anyway. Because you don't need this. You don't need this kind of trash in your life. Okay. And here we are. The eight. The the. I'm looking at the Ace of Cups too. But we have the Four of Cups. Okay. So this person, you know, um, at at some point has probably tried to come back to you, or maybe you want to go back to them, but. Uh, they weren't having it or either you weren't having it because there's something else for you out there. OK, there's another opportunity out there for you. Definitely in love. OK, starting with self-love. Got the Ace of Cups here. This is saying I deserve better. I deserve more because of who I am. Okay, Because of who I am. OK. And like I said, I'm hearing Jewel's name for whatever reason in this reading. So, Jewel, you know who you are. Well, let's see. Let's kind of clarify these six of swords here. It's like though you're leaving this situation behind, whether this person is in your life currently or no longer in your life, you realize the ties have turned. It's time for you to move forward. This could be a Leo as well. Doesn't have to be, though. A new path. No matter how you look at it, no matter how you slice the cheese, you're still going on a new journey. Okay. This opportunity has presented itself for you to move on with your life, Virgo. So I'm packing up myself, <clears throat> packing up my my dolls, my trinkets, whatever it is that you got, and leaving behind and say, I'm done. I'm moving forward. Okay. So this is new a new opportunity, a new open opportunity. Something and someone is leading you. From your current state of mind. To something so much better for you. We got the high priestess and we got the seven of pentacles here. Don't worry about your finances. Some of you are possibly worried about your finances. Is that is this it's like you have this mindset of worrying too much about your finances? It's never enough. It's never enough, or either I'm never enough. Why can't I be ever be enough? Okay. You don't see opportunities coming your way. And you're, you're, you're sticking. It's like you're stuck, but you're stuck into your own self fear, your own self fear and emotions. But you can clearly come out of this. It's just what's going on in, in your head. OK, don't let the don't let your thoughts about something keep you bound. OK, in these chains when you can clearly come out of this. If there's something that you don't like about yourself, change it. OK, could be initials JB for some of you. We have opportunities that want to, you keep letting opportunities pass you by, pass you by. They go right through you. Okay. They go right through you. Literally. Ten of Pentacles. The Page of Cups. And we got the Knight of Wands. You're afraid to move forward. Though you're, though you're headed in the opposite direction. You don't want to fail, fall on your face again. Some of you. But you, you're blessed. You're, you, I'm hearing in my head that you are blessed. I'm, this is what I'm hearing y'all. Tell them that they are blessed and highly favored. Oh, my gosh. Mm. Tell them that they are blessed and highly favored. That's what I'm hurting. Them, all of you all who watch this, okay? You had somebody who was with you in your past. Uh, you thought that this relationship was going to be about something, but it wasn't. So this person was kind of uh, immature, very, very immature. Um, they stood by and watched while you did all the work. While you put all of your all of your energy into the connection, your thoughts, everything. You moved the relationship along. That person walked away. We got the two of cups and we got the star and the ace of wands. I think that this person really wanted to give you more, but they felt that they weren't capable of giving you what you needed, it's even in the bedroom. I'm here, especially in the bedroom. Because you're 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 all of that in a bag of motherfucking chips. You're very, very alluring to people, very, very sexy, glamorous, handsome men. And you deserve a person who's going to be that equal to you in all aspects, but especially in the bedroom. You're very, very electrifying, very, very hot. Okay. Um, ladies, I'm hearing in my head, it doesn't take much to get you wet. 
Okay, gentlemen, I'm hearing in my head that it doesn't take much to get you rock hard. Hmm, we got the two of cups, the star, the ace of wands. It's like you haven't found your match yet in love, in, the, in love and in the bedroom, but you will. You haven't found that person, but they, you know, this is where you're headed here. Because that person wasn't capable of giving you, this person probably has some, some issues in the bedroom sexually. Maybe they couldn't get it up or maybe they couldn't get hot, wet or whatever. Um, it didn't last long or whatever the situation was, but they couldn't, um, they couldn't give you what you needed in the bedroom. So that probably made that person feel a bit, a bit low. OK, um, because they felt that they couldn't give you sexually what you needed. And ultimately, that's kind of like important in a relationship. I'm also hearing you may live in Detroit. I'm here in Detroit for whatever reason. Maybe you live in Detroit or whatever. Virgo. Maybe you're able to relate to this message. OK, what's going on, Earthlies, for you? You're moving on from a love by the energy of that love from the past because it no longer serves you. What else is going on for Virgos today? Virgos, what's going on? King of Swords, Ten of Swords. Mm, very, very uh, cutting individual. They, you know, this person has stabbed you in the back, or possibly uh, on more than one occasion. The Ace of Swords. It's, it's like thinking and and this person uh, kind of like they don't give a fuck what they say, okay? Or how they say it. Got the King of Cups. We got the Fool. Take a, take a chance at loving somebody other than this person who stabbed you in the back. You know, it's like the queen of wands be open and to receive this person okay because you may not want a relationship right now okay but maybe if this relationship wants you this person who's coming into your life this person from the past was like i said said some hurtful things very hurtful cutting words and you probably thought that you wanted to be back with this person but you know sometimes the plans change for the better you know for the better this person was very very hurtful and mean i'm hearing mean to you then you got the total opposite. This person, this king, okay, who's very loving, caring, honest, who's going to give you the love that you need, okay, who's going to show you how beautiful, I'm hearing how suave and debonair, debonair you are, how gorgeous and amazing and beautiful that you are. So you may be crying over the shoulda, coulda, wouldas of that past relationship. I should have left his ass a long time ago. I should have tried to make it work. I should have whatever, shoulda, coulda, wouldas. That's not the one for you. There's somebody else. There's someone else for you. Because you deserve the best, Virgo. Because you are the best. And that person is saying, look, baby, I got you. Do you want to see what's inside my cup? Are you going to accept the essence that I have for you, baby? Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. That's up to you. We got you in stance, standing still. I don't know if I want this. Like here. I need somebody loyal in my life. I need somebody who's going to care for me, okay? Who's going to treat me with some respect and who's going to treat me with some dignity. Is that you? I want somebody who's loyal, somebody who's going to be there for me when I need him or her. I'm everything you need, baby. In the back of motherfucking chips, just give me a chance. Just give me a chance. Don't be so standoffish. Take your chance at love. Who's like the food court here in between the two of you? Got the fool here. Moving on. Don't be so abrasive, Virgo. Hold on, the card fell. Don't be so abrasive. Watch your tone. We got the Knight of Wands and the Six of Wands. So you want to be recognized by somebody, okay? And you're gonna, it's like you're gonna recognize each other. Oh, that's that's that that's that. I feel that soulmate energy. I feel I feel that that's my soul. That 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 I'm sorry, that that's my my husband. I feel that that's my wife over there. Because you're gonna already be covered up and you're gonna already you're gonna have a shield across your heart so nobody can come in and hurt you again. 
But this is a, a this could be for you an express an explosive union, Virgo, for you. You gotta open up and, and let someone come in because this person will put you on the high horse that you deserve to be put on. But you got to open up and be be ready to receive this person in more in, in more ways than one. I stumble a lot when I'm reading for y'all because I hear so many different things. It's like I'm listening to I don't even know. I can't I can't even explain. Look, Ten of Cups. <laughs> I want to pop out. So that's what's coming to you, Ten of Cups. Open up for love. Probably be been seeing a lot of bees as well. I, I know I my daughter kept telling me, why are so many bees in the basement? Like, what do you mean bees? You know, I don't know where the bees down there are coming from, but you probably you probably seen a lot of bees for whatever reason. So uh, look the spirit animal up the bee and see what message is, is there for you, okay? Okay. Clarify the ten of cups, Virgo. Stability, celebration, celebrate celebrating love. That we have the Ten of Cups and we have the Four of Wands. I'll tell y'all if I could if I could explain to y'all what I'm hearing in my head, it's kind of like an echo, you know. I don't know, it's like an echo. It's crazy. All right. Okay. Clarify the Four of Wands for Virgos, please. We have the Ten of Cups, the Four of Wands, and we have the Ace. So listen, if you get with this person and you don't want to get pregnant, make sure you use protection, okay? Make sure. Are you going to be pregnant? The Five of Cups. The Sun card. Happy days are here again. The King of Pentacles. Happy days are here again, Virgo, for you. This person's going to make you very, very happy. The the sun is the most happiest, most positive part in the world. We got the Ten of Cups. Ultimately, where you're headed here, the Ace of Cups and the Three of Wands. Be open for love. Be open to love. Know that this is your spiritual blessing. There's no one in the world better than you, Virgo. There's look at look <laughs> look over to the person sitting next to you and say, There is no one better in the world, no one better in the world than me. I'm a Virgo. And I love me some me. And Spirit is going to send you somebody who's going to love you for you too. Open up. Okay. Open up and let love inside, Virgo. Talk to y'all later.